Next up is what the entrepreneurs believe will be the next big hit toy. Hello, sharks. I'm Austin Hillam. And I'm Stephen Fazio. <laughs> Throughout the decades, we have been introduced to objects that have entertained and engaged millions. <laughs> Early on, it was the yo-yo. In the 60s, we had the Etch-a-Sketch. In the 80s, there was the Rubik's Cube. Now introducing the toy of the future. <laughs> Zip string! <laughs> Anything the user does, zip string follows. The string flies around 35 miles per hour and yet is safe to the touch. All right, sharks, watch this trick. It's called the swirl. <laughs> this one's the corkscrew. This one's the step through. And the pop. Presenting the portal. <laughs> Zip string glides around smooth objects. All oh, smooth objects. <laughs> Zip string is taking the world by storm. Oh my god, it's so cool. Oh, we are wow. here for a $100,000 investment for 10% of our business. God. Sharks, who's ready to zip? <laughs> Let's show you guys how it works. Some of you have already figured it out. So what you want to do is you want to hold it upright like this with yeah, the logo facing the channel. Channel. Oh, oh yeah! It, you it, you yeah, there you Woo! go. Oh. 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 Yeah, that emulates your movements. <laughs> Guys, come on. I love it! <laughs> we love it too. Did you invent it? Yes. We Tell us do. the story, how you came up with it. I'm super passionate about electronics. A couple years ago, I watched a physics teacher demonstrate a benchtop string launcher. He had this device that would launch a string in a loop. And I took that benchtop version, I compacted it, made it handheld, and I made this prototype. Mm. Everybody loved it, but I knew I couldn't make a scalable business out of it until I had Austin over. We were just nerding out about this device. My father had some great input, and then we turned it into a toy. Mm. I put that toy on my social media, and by the end of the day, it had over 20 million views. Yeah. Wow. What? It hit the front page of Reddit. Oh wow. my gosh. It went just absolutely nuts. We when had was everybody that? reaching out to us. When this was that? was just over a year ago. So how many of you sold from all that? We sold over 10,000. That's, That's it? All? And how much uh. do you charge for them? We started $25. Why with 20 million views you only sold that What does it little? cost to make them? It cost 635. So here's what happened. So we did a Kickstarter, ran that successfully. An all-American comedy group known as Dude Perfect reached out. They yeah. loved it. They took it on a nationwide stage tour, showed it around the world. Today, Zipstring is in over 50 countries. We've had so much exposure. Over 200 million views in total. Austin, after the Kickstarter. Yeah. 20 million views, national tour, all of that. Yeah. What were the total sales in dollars? Yeah. $277,000. Why so little? With all due respect, if we didn't Absolutely. have the 20 million views and all the other sure, stuff, sure, sure. I'd say, hey, great start. Why this? and only this. Supply chain. We were struggling to figure that out. The demand was there. Pre-orders were coming. We couldn't make them fast enough. We weren't ready. Have you solved your supply chain problems? Supply chain is all set up. Can you do an order for 100,000 units? We can, as long as we have the How cash How does that flowing. reduce the price? Because right now you're paying 635 to make them. I know we can get it down to 587. Mm -hmm. $25 is too expensive. I think so. What, what is the expense in this, a battery? That's the largest expense, that's yeah. correct. Why, you think $25 for this is expensive? Yeah, I do. Too much, should be on yeah, the For little kids, yeah, for parents to buy for their little kids it's to keep them entertained. It's $19.95, it's five times kidding? the sales. Have you guys not bought well, a stuffed animal Well, if you could be $9.95, you would sell them like billions. And here's what's happened. We've talked and have a verbal commitment with Walmart Canada to start shipping and selling these. There, it'll be $14.97. I'll make you an offer. I'll take no equity whatsoever. If I've ever seen a royalty deal, it's this one. I want a buck a unit, and I'll give you the $100,000. And watch what I can do in blowing this thing up. There's only one Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> Kevin, is that in perpetuity? Kevin, they perpetuity? don't have that big a margin. What's uh, perpetuity, Robert? Here's Forever. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> here's what you're investing in. 
You're investing in a new category of toys. Really, Austin, I've heard this my whole life. New categories of everything. This is a new category. We are the category kings. What do you think of my offer? If there's no other offer, all of a sudden I'm feeling even more wonderful. <laughs> Let me jump in. I mean, I love the innovation, love you guys. I think it's early, so I am taking myself out. I wish you good luck. It's nothing I could help with, honestly. It's not for me, I'm out. All right, guys. Um, couldn't Let's love it, it more. Couldn't love it more, seriously. Um, the key for me is you gotta keep going, right? You exactly. gotta be the cool, stringy, floaty, scientist-y, geeky uh -huh. product. That's the investment I wanna make. That's the ride I wanna go on. Is there an offer involved? Me. Yeah. I will give you 100,000 for 20%. I'll and, do, uh, do 100,000 for 15%. I'll do 100,000 for 10% exactly what you offered if you take the deal. I'll give you extra. I'll do it for 9%. <laughs> Can we take a second to talk real quick? Wait, 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 wait. Guys, let me, let me step in. What you guys have done is great, right? It's creative. You've got a chance to make some money. But as an investment, I, I think it peters out at some point. I don't really see it as being investable, so for those reasons, I'm out. Oh! Sure, thank you, Mike. Robert, just thinking here, you and me together, for 20%, they For $100,000. <laughs> for 100, I like it. You know why? I because like it, Kevin. You double your social media follow. You get two sharks, and we're a little sharky. Together, instead of us killing each other, we help you. Double I, trouble. Double trouble. So basically, we give you 100000 for 20%, you get two sharks. Oh, I love that, Kevin. Guys, it's a chance. $100,000 for 20%. 100000 20%, you, two of us. Would you, and your previous offers, are oh, those still available? On the, are those before. still on the table? There is no rearview mirror in my life. You gotta let go. This is the deal in front of you right now. What do you want to do? All right, we're gonna counter. <laughs> <laughs> the counter is, would you be willing to go for 15% together? No! You know why? I wanna get up in the morning and feel yes. I own a piece of it. Come on, we each own 10%. Yeah. This is a this is a toy that's gonna be in every house in America. We agree, which is why we made you the offer. You guys realized that you had an offer before at 9%, but you didn't grab it, so now you're sitting here at 20. That happens to the shark sanctum Yes, sometimes. it does, Lord. But you walk out with a deal, you get two sharks. That's extremely valuable. All right. Uh-oh. What's going on? Robert, Kevin, you got a deal. Oh! Yeah! Let's get up here. All right. <laughs> Let's zip around. Oh, yeah! Oh, this, yeah! That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we're excited. Thank you very much. This is the next What's going to happen next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch the floor, yeah. yeah. baby. Let's build a big business. All right, sharks, guys. guys. Just Just bring bring you guys. Take care, guys. What do you think, man? Dude, two sharks, 20%. You know, $100,000 and 9% would have been the deal. We probably should have just grabbed it up. But, you know, I don't think we lost it all in the end. But two sharks joining, I think this is going to be an exciting ride. Good day in the tank. First in the tank is a way to get just as cozy as the world's best nappers. Hi Sharks, my name is Noah. And my name is Yuki. We're recent college grads and we're here seeking $200,000 in exchange for 10% of our company, Pluffle. Sharks, we all have those long days where we crave a cozy nap to get away from the troubles of the world. When you just need a break from the stress and exhaustion, you could quite literally sleep anywhere. I mean, look at our buddy Kipper over here. <laughs> Sharks, <laughs> don't you find yourself jealous of Kipper, able to nap literally wherever he wants? Don't you ever wish you could have what Kipper has? Well, now you can. <laughs> Introducing... Pluffle. <laughs> it's a dog bed for humans! <laughs> That's right, Sharks. That Pluffle coming. is the world's first dog bed specifically designed for humans. Because if you work like a dog, why not sleep like one? When you sink into the Pluffle, you're surrounded by the softest materials and textures. The soft pillow border <laughs> allows you to tuck your hands and feet inside and maximize what we like to call the snuggle factor. <laughs> the plush faux fur and high-grade orthopedic and memory foam allow you to turn any place into a napping space. Doesn't he look cozy? I wouldn't want to wake him up. Sharks. 
We want to bring this revolutionary napping experience everywhere. So don't sleep on this opportunity to join us in building a napping empire. All right, so who wants to try out the pluffle? I do. I do. Yeah, I want to touch it. Robert, we figured you would really want to try it I out. definitely want to try it. Come on, anyone, give it a go. All right. You're such a Robert. Uh, Robert, would you like a blanket? Yes, I would like a blanket. Mark here, lay in yeah. this one. Uh, try Robert, this one. try curling up a little bit, like a little, like a little baby. Shockingly, it's Yo, really comfortable. <laughs> Mark, give it a go. Oh. <laughs> I want to see if I can fit. Pull, pull right up. I can put your legs out. Yeah, kind of lean your arms on it. Kind of relax. Lounge a little bit. Yeah, it's actually it. not bad. <laughs> It's not bad. Oh, yeah, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how much is it? It's $3.99. Tank, currently taking pre-orders at $3.99. $399? Yeah, $399. Yeah. Oh, okay. What does it cost you to make? Our landing cost is $140. Oh, wow. And you must have sales. Yes, we do. <laughs> Three months ago, we launched on Kickstarter. Our initial goal was $25,000. We blew it out of the water. We hit $280,000 in wow. 30 days. And we've done over $130,000 in sales since. And how much of that have you delivered? We've just started the manufacturing process. Would that be none? <laughs> so throughout our prototyping process, we've tested our versions with about 50 different beta testers, and they all absolutely loved it. Well, I'm curious, did you used to lay in like a really big oversized <laughs> dog bed or something? <laughs> yeah, so throughout my time at school, I worked as a barista at a local college coffee shop where there lived a great uh -huh. Dane. And so one day during a, a long shift, I was looking at this dog napping really comfortably in its bed, and I found myself kind of jealous, like, man, why can't that be me right now? And then I had an idea. Dog beds for humans. Ta-da! <laughs> I was all over Google trying to see if a product like this existed, but I found nothing. So I was calling up Yuki, a good friend, telling him about the concept, and he loved it. So we partnered with a local designer in Vancouver to build our first prototype. And it turned out so awesome that we had people lined up all over our campus just to try it out. I, I just don't get it. Like, why are people buying these? Like, what, what, who's your customer? Why not? Why do you need oh, it? I like it. I like really? it. Well, why, your I don't kids? Get it. Oh, come on. Your kids? My eight year old would probably love it, but yes. like, do I want a dog bed in my living room? So, yes. we started out just creating a fun product that would bring joy and comfort to people's lives. But we realized we had, we're building something bigger than that when we put it on TikTok and went viral. And we started getting flooded with messages from people sharing just how excited they were for this product. We spoke with mothers of children with sensory issues, oh, veterans yeah. with physical trauma, people that suffer from a range of sleep issues that just need more comfortable places to rest. But you've never delivered these. It's only been three months since we graduated. When do you anticipate being able to deliver? Because you've got no real customers at the moment, which means you've got no real reviews. Like that to me is just a big red flag. Yeah, we expect to deliver around late November to early December. And, do you and when did you take the orders? We took orders back starting from uh, April. I mean, so that's some pre-order period. We're talking, what, seven months? Yeah. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is it taking you so long to get them delivered? That's a long that's time a, exactly. for just 1,200 units. Well, but you have to have your production time, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how long it takes to make one of these. How long with does a it take to make one? Yeah, so the 1,200 units takes about two months to make and two months to ship out. So we're looking at ways to reduce our lead time, but this is our first go at it. Okay, guys, look, I think it's a crazy idea. That's why I like it. <laughs> uh, however, you are unproven, untested. There's 200,000 for 10%, imputes 2 million. It's not worth 2 million right now. So I'll do it for 200,000 cash a -roni for 30%. <laughs> Listen. Wow, that's way better than I thought. You know, out of him, that's not so bad. Mark, remember hug, our hug sleep? Yeah, yeah, it's killing. So, it. like, Mark and I did a deal with hug yeah. sleep. Yeah. It was almost like a sleeping bag, but yeah. not mm -hmm. stretchy fabric that I literally that use it every you. night. I, I sleep, know you do. I sleep so much better in my hug sleep. Yes, it makes you sleep better, yep. and it's we like being know. being swaddled as an adult. We yeah. know we're at 15 million in sales in I two mean, we years. Love, Hug Sleep's a huge inspiration for us, and a lot of their kind of story about helping people with anxiety and just find more comfort without and cozy, question. You know? Yeah, without question. They're yeah. messaging about like why don't adults need hugs too? That's kind of what we're trying to embrace here. Like adults need comfort; they need to be cozy. So, so guys, are you can, saying we should work together on this? Can anyone knock you off? Well, Do you have a pattern? Is there any kind of protection? So. Our, right now, we're the first to market with this product. We filed for our provisional patent and are currently working on our utility and design patents. We've also filed for the trademark for our name, as well as for the phrase, the dog bed for humans. Yeah, I Is don't, it? I, I, it's a dog bed for humans. I don't see it, it's not for me. Thank I'm you, out. Robert. Uh, 
We, we appreciate uh, the feedback. One thing we just want to touch on is that this is more than just a large dog bed. We actually changed a lot of the components. For one thing, we swapped out the conventional pillow base for more supportive orthopedic and memory foam pads so people can actually feel supportive it's all this week. It's a dog no, bed for <laughs> humans. I, listen, I'm going to just like get out of the way here, but I just, I do not understand it. Like, I don't understand <laughs> who is buying this product. And so I'm out. Yeah. Thank you. Got for a the little feedback. bit of skepticism Guys, we want to, here. We want to make an offer. We think it's a great compliment to um, Hug Sleep. So there's all kinds of ways we can help sell. Um, so we'd like to make you the offer of the two hundred thousand you asked for for twenty percent. The two of us together. The two of us together. Um, thank you for that offer. Um, no, and I'll take a little bit of time just to talk about it. Seriously, there's no, something to talk about. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Would you guys be open to two hundred thousand for fifteen percent? No. No. <laughs> It's like, yeah, there's got to be enough there. Yeah, it's got to be enough in there for both of us yeah. to get excited. Yeah, and we have experience yeah. with this. Kevin, do you yeah. want to change your offer? All right, we got a deal. Oh, yeah. Kevin, it just went away from you, just like that. Okay, 200,000 for 40%. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Great stuff, yeah. guys. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, well done, guys. guys. It's a dog bed for Exactly. Exactly. I'm gonna take We're in a nap. The sleep business. <laughs> <laughs> Noah and I just graduated about three months ago, and the fact that we're here right now on Shark Tank and got a deal yeah. from Mark and Lori is, is crazy. I really can't believe it. And that's a testament to the fact that if anyone cares about something and dedicates their time and effort, they can do it. Okay, we're gonna do this, Sean. We are. Let's we're gonna it. do it. Let's do it. Let's do it all. Confidence it's just for us. We, yeah, kick their ass. we are. First in the tank is a unique way to get up close and personal with nature. Hi Sharks, my name is Joan. And I'm John. We're from Loveland, Colorado, and we're seeking $75,000 for 10% of our company. Sharks, one of nature's most magnificent creatures is the hummingbird. Have you ever seen one up close? I mean like really up close. Well, they fly so fast, it's almost impossible to see their beauty. But now, you can get a real bird's eye view, thanks to my invention. The Hum Viewer! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the Hum Viewer's a one-of-a-kind hummingbird feeder that you wear. Ah, Seems oh my crazy, God. right? Oh, well, it is genius! <laughs> That's the best. The Hum Viewer offers a visually spectacular way to both feed and observe hummingbirds <laughs> right before your eyes. <laughs> that is great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the user is fully protected as the hummingbirds perform a full on acrobatic show as they swoop, dart, hover, and even fly backward while feeding. Oh the vibrant God. red flowers so attached cool. to the clear mask wow. instantly attract any hummingbirds nearby. So sharks, which one of you want to experience the view and hum along with us on our journey to feed the birds? Wow. <laughs> so what do you put in here? Is it like a sugar nectar? Yeah, the sugar water. And then how That's long do you have so to creative. sit before they come? We recommend the, until the birds get used to it, take down the bird feeder and stand or sit where the feeder was. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> what do you sell these for and what do they cost you to make? We sell them for $59.95, and they cost $10 to make. How many have you sold? Oh, we've sold about 500. That's great. <laughs> How did you come up with this idea? This all started out by me making one of these and taking it to our family's cabin up in the mountains. My dear wife decided that we needed to get on Twitter and Facebook, so I tweeted a picture of my brother wearing the mask. Um, the TV, the, the news company in Denver, one of their photojournalists called. And she said, we want to do a story on this mask. <laughs> and I wondered what the story was, you know? Was the so, story Crazy Man in the Mountain? No. <laughs> crazy Man in the Mountain, so maybe that's it. <laughs> so 15 minutes after they aired it, I got an email from a gentleman that said, all, all it said was, put me down for a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at her and said, we might be on to something. Do you have a patent? The people that own the property above our cabin, he's a retired patent agent. His recommendation was to get a patent application, and then we decided that we could make a business out of this, I think. 
obviously, there's a lot of bird watchers, bird lovers, the hummingbird community, I'm sure. So have you put out videos? Did you have anybody within that community try to help you to sell these? We did. I reached out last um, fall to a hummingbird influencer on TikTok. <laughs> and um, he wore it on his TikTok, and it's his fourth most highest view. He got 5 point, or 5.4 million views on his video. OK, guys. One thing to know, I'm sure my fellow sharks do not know this, but I study Greek mythology. <laughs> and we in know. Greek mythology, the hummingbird is known as a messenger. It brings messages to humans. Um, and it's given me one. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the message. Thank you. <laughs> so guys, this is a really great business slash hobby where you could talk to your community of people and have a great time and experiences, make some money. I want you to enjoy yourselves. I'm definitely going to use it from time to time, but I'm out. Yeah, hey guys, this is not something I would be passionate about. I think it's awesome you came up with the idea. You know, necessity is the mother of invention, and you nailed it, but it's not investable for me, so for those reasons, I'm out. Listen, guys, I think super novel, super cute idea. I could totally see people giving these to bird lovers and just a lot of fun. But I do see it, as my fellow sharks do, as something that is a hobby, a fun thing for you. I don't think it's something that's going to make millions of dollars. It doesn't need to. But as an investment for me, I don't see it as an investable product, so I'm a hope. You have one shark left? First of all, I am very interested, and I'll tell you why. When my dad passed away, all of us saw a bird outside of where he and my mom lived, and he loved hummingbirds. He always talked to us about the hummingbird, and they're just extraordinary engineering feats of nature. And every time that we see hummingbirds, we call each other, my siblings and I and my mom, thinking about my dad. So for me, this is Bechert. This is like fate. I actually think it can go into novelty stores. It can do well on Amazon. I, I can see it being a fun thing. Yes. Do you have any debt? Not company debt. We took out a home equity loan in the beginning to help pay for the patent and buy the minimum amount of these that we could get. How much of your own money has gone into this business? About $40,000. And what do you need from a shark? I've been in the electrical business my whole life. I don't know much about the retail and marketing industry. So what we need is that somebody to help us set this business up and market it. You have any inventory currently? Yes, we have 1,500 left. We, we no. bought 2,000 to begin with. Okay. Um, you have $25,000 lifetime of sales. I don't even know how to value these. Like, Well, but that's been a struggle for us, too, to tell you yeah. the truth. Third partner. I, so the three of you, 33 and a third each. I mean, they did put $40,000 in. That's a lot of money. Yeah. I was going to say 50-50, but I will be uh, <laughs> channeling my kindness of law, and I'll do 35%. That's a deal. Yeah. Let's do it. Come on. Come see Daddy. Come to see Papa. That's great. Oh, my God. He's the oh best. Oh, my God. That was fantastic. Thanks, guys. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats. <laughs> Just the one we wanted. <laughs> that's salt of the earth, people, man. I'm yeah. so I mean, that's, that's great. Yeah. People. That's why we do the show. You could have taken 90% of his company. He was been. You got a deal. <laughs> we <laughs> finally did. We it. did it. We, we knew we, we had an idea. It off. Yes. The crazy man in the mountains did it. How about that? Yeah. <laughs>